This is emergency 911 calling. We're looking for the parents of Mackenzie Somerville. She's been in a terrible accident. It's been life lighted to Allegheny General Hospital. Those are the words that every parent dreads hearing. But it's the call that I got on July 24th, late at night. I was so distressed that I handed the phone to my husband and told him to get the information because I didn't know what to do next. Um, I just remember dropping to my knees and just praying and just begging God that should be okay. At that point they couldn't tell me anything. I didn't know if she was even alive at that point. All I knew is that we had to get to the hospital. My daughter and I had become so close. Um, she was just a wonderful, wonderful young woman of God. I've just watched her grow over the years and her faith has became strong and just to, to know what we were facing going down to that hospital was unbelievable. I just remember thinking as I cried out loud sitting in that car seat that I knew, because she was a believer, that if she was gone at that moment, that she was in heaven. I knew it. And so much as a blur, it seemed like I was moving in slow motion. And they instructed us at the emergency room desk to go to a small room and that they would have someone come in shortly. I remember just going in there and, and, and sitting in that room and waiting, um, just waiting for that door to open and so anxious and yet at the same time so afraid because I didn't know what the news was going to be. I didn't know how, how traumatic this was. A nurse came in and I couldn't even stand up. I remember just still sitting in my seat and she just came over and she said, your daughter's alive. At the car that Kenzie was riding in the back seat, which is funny because she always wanted the front seat, but that night she bowed out and let her other friend take the front seat. And unfortunately for Mackenzie that night, in doing so, um, she received the most traumatic injuries. Uh, the car had um, gone off of the berm and when I uh, tried to get back on the berm, another car was coming the other way and they hit that car and that caused them to go airborne and flip over and the car then went down an embankment and landed in a creek. Thank the Lord, a patrolman was right there. The water was coming in, and uh, they were there literally within 60 seconds. The timing that God had through a critical situation to have this officer be only 60 seconds away, and obviously with this water involved coming in and her not getting oxygen, just a brief couple of minutes would have made all the difference in the world. And she had uh, a crushed kidney and a lacerated liver and uh, both collarbones were broken. And uh, her lung was punctured. Um, like I said, she was non-responsive, so we weren't sure what was going on in, with the brain part. That was a very big worry. Um, her pelvis was crushed. It was broken five places. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, I said, you know, we have her all. She's cleaned up. and. Obviously, I wanted to be one of the first ones to go back and see her and try to prepare myself for what she would look like. And um, while it was heart-wrenching walking in, seeing her, she lied there, and all you heard was the monitors and the beeps going off, and they were just surrounding her and the different devices that were in her body and a neck brace on to stabilize her and a pretty good-sized gash on her forehead. and just such a, a change from what had transpired the week before. We were on a, a great family vacation. Kenzie just loves being with her family and her sisters. The prayer changes that were everywhere for her, not only in our, our home church and her home church, but uh, you know, different kids who were in Michigan or even overseas had got wind of this. It was a chain reaction. And just we just found ourselves thanking God so many times a day while it was just a very, very scary, scary time in all our lives, I know we can all thank God, um, as the scripture says, that every good and perfect gift comes from above, and that's, that's my daughter to me. She's a good and perfect gift, and I thank God that he allowed me to have her.